Hello and welcome to your 14th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to re-obfuscate and release your mod. And in this tutorial um, I'm going to talk to you about probably one of the most important features in any mod and that is a configuration file. Now for those of you who don't know, a configuration file basically allows the user to edit your block IDs without you having to hard code the IDs. Um, and the reason you would want this is so that you can have um, it be compatible with most other mods um, because if you have an ID conflict you can just change one or both of the IDs. Um, it's actually pretty easy to set up a configuration file. Uh, I'm just going to create a new method inside the tutorial dot drop above our load method and this is going to be at well it's public void pre init and then fml pre initialization event event and we need to import this And you'll see it's not going to give us an error. Now, above this, we need to say at pre, make sure to capitalize that, pre init. Um, now, I know I said pre init is not used very frequent, frequently in an earlier video. Um, this is one of the, I actually, I think this is the only instance where I have ever used pre init. I know um, some other people like to use it to set up their blocks um, or do other stuff but this is the only time I use preinit. Uh, but basically what preinit says is okay so I'm going to go through all of the mods and um, if it says init I'm going to run it first but if it says preinit I need to make sure to run that method before the init method. Um, but anyway, so inside our pre-init method, we need to declare a um, configuration, and I'm going to call this config equals new configuration event dot get suggested configuration file. And we need to import configuration. And it's the net.minecraftforge.common one not the security one. Um, but basically what we're saying here is create a new configuration file and it's going to be created at the suggested location which is the um, config file inside the Minecraft folder. Mine config folder, not file. Um, but anyway after this, creating the actual configuration um, inside the config file is pretty easy. All we need to do is say um, we're going to pass in an ID, so we'll say tutorial or ID equals config dot get, and then we're going to pass in a first a string. Um, so this is going to be the category it's in. So I'm just going to say block IDs um, and what that'll do is it'll create a category inside the config file called block IDs and then it'll have all of the um, configuration that we put under the block ID category inside that category. Now we have to put the key and what that is is it's basically um, what the configuration is so, so that the user can read it. So I'm going to say tutorial or ID and then here we have the default value. Now this can be a boolean value if you want it to be true or false. Uh, for example if you have a mob that you might want people to be able to determine whether or not it can spawn then you would have a boolean variable and you would say um, default variable is true um, and then actually I'll explain the second part then 
However, since we're doing an ID right now, we're going to want to set the default value to the actual um, ID. So in this case, the default is 500. And then after it, we want to say dot get. And then if you are doing an ID, you want to say get int. If you are doing a Boolean, then you want to say just git Boolean. Um, if you are doing a double, it's git double. If you are doing a string, it's git name, etc., etc. In our case, it's just git int and then semicolon. And then we can remove this 500 from right here. Oh. We can remove that 500 from right there. And we don't have to do anything down here because we've already set it up so that it uses the tutorial or ID. So now if we wanted to set it up for our item IDs, all we need to do is say tutorial ingot ID or whatever your item ID is equals config dot get. And I'm going to create the category item IDs and then tutorial ingot ID and the default value is 800 and then dot get int and we can remove this and then finally we just want to say tutorial food ID equals config dot get and again this will be item IDs tutorial food ID and then 801. Now, um, at the very end of the method, after you've declared all of your items, you just want to add one little line, and this is config.save. And what that'll do is it'll save all of this data to the configuration file. Um, now, if you were, well, actually, I'm going to run this and show you where it actually puts the configuration file. It'll load all correctly. We can say quick game. And if I go to desktop MCP um, and then MCP Forge Tutorials, if we go to the jars, then this is basically acting like um, this jars folder is acting basically like the um, Minecraft folder would in the user's directory. So you'll see it's created a new folder here called config, and inside of it we have forge.config, forgechunkloading.config, and then scigai1121 underscore tutorial.config. Um, and if you wanted to just name it, say, tutorial.config, change this at mod right here. Um, and then if we run this, do 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 then it'll create a tutorial.config. In this case, I'm just going to keep the SciGuy1121 tutorial um, because, yeah, I'm just going to keep that one. Um, but if you were to actually be creating a mod, you it's all up to you. Um, but if you wanted to change the default values, and I'll show you what the config file looks like in a second, but let's say you wanted to, you had an issue, and you wanted to change this to 525. Oh, I need to delete this, actually. Um, if we were to run it, then, oh wait, I need to, yeah, I need to show you. Um, so, let me just show you this real quick. So I'm going to open with other, um, I'm going to use text edit. So any text editor will um, open up a config file. Those are my notes. And here you can see um, we have our configuration file. It'll tell you when it was generated. And you see we have our two categories and they are block IDs and item IDs. And the very first thing you'll notice is that the category names are not capitalized there's really nothing you can do about that. Sorry. Um, if, you have, if you have OCD about that kind of thing, there's not a whole lot you can do. I'm sorry about that. Um, 
But you'll see that we have block IDs, we have our tutorial or ID equals 500, and item IDs, and here's our um, IDs. And they should, be sub they should be in alphabetical order, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and if the user wanted to just change a value, we could say, um, make this 501 and save it, and then um, the value is 501. So, tutor so configuration files are very, very useful. But let's say we want to change this to 525 um, as the default value because we had a, um, an ID crash with vanilla Minecraft then what's going to have to happen is you'll notice if we actually open this up that it hasn't changed anything and what you're going to have to do is delete this tutorial.config and rerun minecraft um, because otherwise it it doesn't update the values um, if we wanted to add in another key um, or category, it updates that, but it doesn't actually update the, um, it doesn't actually update the, um, values for the keys if you change them in the code. But you'll see now we have 525 as the default ID. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will probably talk to you about how to create a shapeless recipe. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.